Hi everyone, welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. I'm Marianne Mitchell. A really important element or piece of developing a painting that really connects to you emotionally and intellectually is the time, the time for just looking at the painting and living into it, especially when you are sort of lost and you're unaware of, or you're without a direction of where you want to go next in the painting. And when you're at that point, the most important thing is instead of trying to just continue to solve the compositional issues that you see in front of you, to sit and feel the painting. Because by doing that, it will tell you where you need to go next in terms of where a line needs to go or an additional color or subtracting something in the paint, painting. And this is something that the great abstract expressionists would do. And they would sit for weeks on end sometimes looking at a painting. And the most important ingredient in their experience of looking at a painting was drinking scotch and smoking cigarettes. So I bring this up because we live at a time, uh, at least in my hemisphere, where um, smoking cartons of cigarettes and drinking bottles of scotches have been proven to be very um, detrimental to one's health and um, psyche and all of that. And de Kooning would land in the hospital with alcohol poisoning before he would make the next mark on his painting. <laughs> So I always joke with the individual artists that work with me in whole artist mastery programs about, all right, let's pull out our virtual scotch and our virtual cigarettes and sit for a while and just contemplate the painting. So this is the current painting that I've been, you know, sipping my virtual scotch, which is really tea and uh, smoking my cigarette, which, you know, uh, I don't have. And, um, and just, trying to feel this painting. Now the history of this painting is that it was something completely different than what it is now and um, you will be seeing what it used to look like and then I, it was a day where the weather was really dark and stormy and I felt this inner um, unrest that was something that I was unable to control uh, to override with, okay, let's see where I want to go next with the painting. And I completely painted over what was there. And so you'll see that. And then I continued on, and this is where it landed. And so I'm at a point where, I ha before I tr go back into this and try to solve, you know, should this be up here or what's the relationship between the bottom and the top, I have to check in for however long it's going to take me to say, you know, what's compelling to me here? What's the story that I want to push? What's interesting to me? What's the feeling? And I'm going to wait to go back into this painting until I have an answer for that. So I invite you for about a minute to just sit where you are and look at the painting and see what it, how it makes you feel. Many times when we're working on a painting, when we're unaware of where we want to go next, sometimes we're with other people, other artists, a lot of you may be taking classes with other artists and get feedback or you're in art groups, you know, uh, critique groups, and in my case I get feedback when I'm working with somebody one-on-one -on -one and I ask them questions about what they think of the painting and so I would love to hear your comments in the chat feed below the video of what you see and feel here. And what I always tell people is that it's, it's important to hear 
how other people objectively see and feel what you're working on. But ultimately, you're the artist. You're the one who gets to decide where to go next. So this happens a lot when people are taking classes and an instructor may say, you know, I really think you need to add some yellow here. And, um, and I'm, you know, not feeling like I know why, but I, the instructor has told me to do that, so I do that. And that sets me on a course of being taken away from what my inner connection may develop to be in this painting. So again, I'd love to see your comments and ultimately I'm gonna go the direction that's most compelling to my inner voice. So. so if you increasingly feel disconnected with a painting as you continue to solve the compositional issues, it may be that you need to pull out your virtual scotch and cigarette and sit for a while and let the painting say to you what it's about and for you to live into what's actually happening there and how it makes you feel. And if this is something that you'd really like to work on in your own practice and need some guidance and help on how to you know, go from feeling to thinking to feeling to thinking in the development of your work, I invite you to sign up for a complimentary conversation because the individual programs really get to a much deeper, comprehensive level of understanding what you are about and how that informs the work that you make. It's an incredible investment in your development, in your time, and um, where you wanna go as an artist. I hope this was helpful. Thanks very much for watching, and if it was helpful and you enjoyed it, please press that little like icon below and subscribe to the Whole Artist Mastery YouTube channel. Uh, I so appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you next time.